Entrance hymn number 199-199. I'll turn my steps. I'll turn my steps to the altar of God. I'll turn my steps to the gladness of my life. this Mass, we shall be praying for all your personal intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess so to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, who in Christ revealed your glory to all the nations, watch over the works of your mercy, that Holy Church, spread throughout the whole world, may persevere with steadfast faith in confessing your name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Remember the good news that I carry. Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, sprung from the race of David. It is on account of this that I have my own hardships to bear, even to being chained like a criminal. But they cannot chain up God's news. So I bear it for the sake of all those who are chosen, so that in the end, they may have the salvation that is in Christ Jesus and the eternal glory that comes with it. Here is a saying that you can rely on. If we have died with him, then we shall live with him. If we hold firm, then we shall reign with him. If we disown him, then he will disown us. We may be unfaithful, but he is always faithful, for he cannot disown his own self. Remind them of this and tell them in the name of God that there is to be no wrangling about words. All this, all that this ever achieves is destruction of those who are listening. Do all you can to present yourself in front of God as a man who has come through the trials and a man who has no cause to be ashamed of his life's work and has kept a straight course with the message of the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, 
Lord, make me know your ways. Lord, teach me your paths. Make me walk in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Our response? Lord, make me know your ways. The Lord is good and upright. He shows the path to those who stray. He guides the humble in the right path. He teaches his way to the poor. Our response? Lord, make me know your ways. His ways are faithfulness and love for those who keep his covenant and will. The Lord's friendship is for those who revere him and to them he reveals his covenant. Our response? Lord, make me know your ways. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Your words are spirit, Lord and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and put a question to him. Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, This is the first. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the one Lord, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you must love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well spoken master, what you have said is true, that he is one and there is no other. To so love him with all your heart, with all your understanding and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, this is far more important than any holocaust or sacrifice. Jesus, seeing how wisely he had spoken, said, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to question him anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Love of God and love of neighbor. Both go hand in hand. We are only fooling ourselves if we say we love God whom we cannot see but hate our neighbor whom we can see. My dear brothers and sisters, today Jesus in the gospel makes an important statement. What kind of a love that we must have first of all for God? We have to love God with all our heart with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. He didn't just say, with all your soul, heart, mind, and strength. The emphasis on the word all before each of these words. It means we either love God 100% with all of ourselves or nothing. The choice is entirely ours. So maybe sometimes we want to negotiate with God. Can I keep 10%, 20%, 40% of this love to myself? God wants us to love with our entire being. And as much as we love God, we have to learn to love our neighbor. Difficult as it may seem at times, but it's always a challenge because that is what living the gospel is all about. Who is my neighbor? Not just the one staying in the next door flat or in the next door building, but my neighbor begins with my very members of my own family. My neighbors in the whole society, in the community, my colleagues at my workplace, 
and especially people I do not get along with. Love of God, love of neighbor. That's the challenge we put before each one of us today. Hymn number 48, 4, 8, at this time of giving. At this time of giving, gladly now we pray. Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice in your hands for the praise and, and glory of his name, for our good, good, good of all his holy church. For God, who constantly sanctify your church to the same sacrifice by which you have made her clean, grant that united to Christ her head, she may offer herself to you with him and be united with you in purity of will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we do extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, power, and the, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the, the world, world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Hymn number 401, 401, this is my commandment. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray for a quick end to the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayer we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hymn number 249, 249, Lightened by the Word. Oh, <laughs> 